when a spiritually evolved person ex expresses the truth, they come from a aligned, unified field of consciousness, blissful contentment, and the higher or the alignment with a higher frequency, they express that as one. It is difficult to comprehend high level beings because the perception of reality is different and yet they may appear the same, they speak the same way, but they come from a different reference point within them. And that's why unless we are ourselves connected and aligned with that higher frequency, we cannot vibe, we cannot um, understand and perceive that truth within ourselves. In a Siddha teaching, a Siddha tradition, there is a saying that when a guru connects with a the disciple, there is no guru, no disciple, there is just one unified field of consciousness. And because of this unification and alignment, one realizes the truth. So it's not because of the external connection, but because of the Guru's ability to bring, to draw one's limited consciousness into the space of their limited consciousness so that one can directly experience it rather than speculate or imagine or think of it as something being the outside of self. And that's why it is known that the truth is known from within. And for those who are not connected or very far from that or scattered within the projected reality is very difficult to refer to this truth or to even feel connected or understand it in any shape or form or relate to it in any way. That's why it still remains concealed for those whose frequency is below that frequency that is known as a higher frequency. Once we've shifted in frequency, it is very difficult to relate to that previous state and that's why the growth, the spiritual growth, is happening kind of unnoticeably. It just keeps on going, we keep on growing, and yet we can only realize the progress once we look back and understand that there's been a huge shift and transformation. But as we go on with our lives every day, it's difficult to really monitor the progress and the progress is not something that happens in a day, but there can be that day that shifts, shifts everything, shifts a perspective. This perspective is shifted usually when we let go of something within ourselves. So that limitation is dissolved and the essence reveals itself. And then we encounter another limitation or a subtle limitation. And then we let go of that as well. And so the more we let go, the more we remain in a relaxed, content, aligned state. And the more this state becomes our being. And the more it becomes our being, the more we realize the truth as that being. And so we constantly then just unnoticeably evolve uh, through that process of letting go in dissolution. And one day we just are in that high frequency without really having that dual perspective any longer without dividing this life into two but being as one flow of consciousness and alignment with the body.